The Athabasca is known for very high grade discoveries like Cigar Lake, MacArthur, etc. But it's been many years, maybe 40 plus since Key Lake really, that a discovery has been made that's high grade and shallow. The significant discoveries early on in the Athabasca Basin were mostly on the east side. All the bulk of the work in the last 20 years has been moving deeper and deeper using uh, you know, higher powered geophysical techniques and everybody ignored the fact that the western side of the basin could have the same shallow easy to find deposits. Contrary to popular thinking, Ross McElroy and his exploration team at Fish and Uranium decided to explore the western side of the basin. Geologically there's no reason the west is, is any different really than the east, it's just people tend to look where the main activity is and, and that had been historically the eastern side. That kind of thinking led to a discovery, which has become the Patterson Lake South property, located on the southwestern margin of the Athabasca Basin. Our PLS project is shallow, so it's near surface, it's large, it's high grade, and in an area where people hadn't been looking. This isn't the first discovery for Ross McElroy. With more than 30 years' experience as a geologist, He's been instrumental in five of the last nine major discoveries in the Athabasca region, including MacArthur River in 1988, the world's biggest high-grade uranium deposit. I um, graduated from the University of Alberta in Edmonton in 1987. My first real job out of school was uh, being hired by what's now Cameco uh, in the uranium sector in, out of Saskatoon. Ross also had success in uranium, gold, and diamond exploration, working with majors like Arriva and BHP Billiton. What I've always known about Ross from his early days to now, he thinks, I think, better in three dimensions than most people and is able to uh, think differently about what he's seeing from a thin piece of drill core. Ross has been a fantastic uh, individual in terms of the way he's gone about his business, very professional individual, and yet he spends a lot of time and attention to detail. The Patterson Lake South project began with the discovery of a boulder field using airborne radiometrics. We've developed a very high resolution uh, airborne radiometric survey. We flew the ground. We saw some very bright anomalies, followed them up on the ground, and right away those turned into be the high-grade boulders. Uh, this is our boulder field that we announced, and it, I mean, had uranium assays up to 40% U308, which was phenomenal. We've been able to outline mineralization now over 1.78 kilometers of strike length, which puts this thing up in the, in the category of some of the biggest deposits uh, in the uh, Athabasca Basin. I'll give an example, one of the drill holes, uh, Ross and the team have is 20 meters of over 20 percent. That's equivalent of 20 meters of 18 ounces per ton gold. This rock is very, very rich and uh, yet it's close to the surface. Since the discovery on the western side of the Athabasca Basin, a number of junior uranium mining companies have launched programs in the area. And this is a very significant uh, project and it, and it means a lot to a, a junior company like us. The project has raised the company's market cap from around 40 million to more than 300 million at its peak. The next step for fishing is to define the resource. Any of the drilling that we've done so far from the summer drilling that's filled in the gaps uh, has all hit mineralization, so I think there's every reason to believe that these, this is one continuous sheet of mineralization. And we'll be starting to drill in January this year with a, the most aggressive program yet probably a $12 million program to drill over 100 holes, uh, most of those to delineate the deposit. But we'll also keep our eye on the, on the exploration uh, ball as well. 